paint goes on the wall. Right. Come on. Green paint too. Yes, please, and bring her eyes. I got one. I'm making the biggest mess. <laughs> Smooth, right? Miguel and Charity's love is stronger than ever. Well, it may be now, but just wait until Kay's spell hits them. Does Tabitha really think Kay will find the red spell, break Charity and Miguel? Well, I certainly hope so. Kay's absolutely determined to have Miguel for herself. We're very lucky to have her on our side, Timmy. She doesn't even know you. She's on your side, Tabby. Oh, of course she doesn't. She has no idea that she's helping my bosses in the basement. But if you and I are to survive, it's imperative that Kay comes between Charity and Miguel. Because once they make love, Charity's powers of goodness will become overwhelming. And that's not good for Timmy and Tabby. No, <laughs> not good at all, lad. Let's just hope that the spell Kay is casting tonight works. And it tears Charity and Miguel apart for good. Wow, this book is writing a spell just for me? Love is patient, love is kind. My words erase love from their minds. A happy couple they will not be. Their hearts all filled with misery. <sighs> spell must be working. <sighs> Hope this spell works better than the last two did. Have to break up Miguel and Charity. Well, guess that's been enough time. I'm gonna go to the new house and see if it's working. Sam, I saw you and Grace talking to David earlier. Everything all right? David was eavesdropping on a private conversation between Grace and me. I wanted to set him straight. Grace said she'd handle it. Well, I'm sure she has. Go on. Go find her. She said she was looking for you. Had a kiss for you. Kiss, huh? I'm out of here. There you are. I've been looking for you. You had a very close call tonight, Teresa. Your mother was about to tell Ethan the truth, that you are carrying Julian Crane's baby. Luckily, she changed her mind. I don't want to talk about this. But you have to deal with the reality of this, Teresa. Eventually, Ethan's going to find out. You're going to start to show. You're not going to be able to talk your way out of this. Something will happen. I know it will. No, Teresa, you got to deal with this. You can't marry Ethan when you're carrying another man's baby inside of you. Teresa, good news. I called the courthouse. The annulment papers have been filed, recorded. Your marriage to Julian is officially erased. Oh, Ethan, thank you. <laughs> thank goodness. Oh, I knew you'd be happy to hear it. Now, now nothing is standing in our way. And we can get married as soon as we can arrange it. Teresa's going to be happy with Ethan. I just... I just wish you were here, Sheridan. Maybe you're out there somewhere. Looking at the same star I am. Wishing we were together. Face the fact that she's gone. It's a 
just really hard. Follow that special star, it will guide you home to the people that love you. I wish I could remember if I even had any loved ones. Maybe when I get to Harmony, I'll find the answers. I just have a strong feeling that Harmony holds the key to who I am. Antonio, my dear son. Your family needs you as it never has before. If only you could follow that star home to us. So no matter how long you're gone, or how far away you go, there's always that special star in the sky to guide you home, lead you back to those who love you. I love this story. I promise I'll always remember it. <laughs> will you, my dear Antonio? Yes, Mama, I will. <laughs> still, still remember, Mama. Still remember. Spell is supposed to break up the happy couple, but they're still together, still happy. <sighs> well, I don't know why it didn't work, but I am gonna find out. Why is Kay back so soon? A spell hasn't had any effect on Charity and Miguel yet. Maybe it didn't work like the others. Yeah, but once a spell is cast, it has to have some effect on someone somewhere. Oh, dear. Oh, maybe Kay had bad aim and, and the spell hit someone else. But who? Oh, my God. David is kissing my mom again? Grace, are you out here? Wait a minute. How did this happen? I thought I was kissing Sam. What's going on out here? Oh my god. My spell. No wonder it didn't hit Miguel and Charity. It hit my mom instead. My dad sees her kissing David. This is all my fault. The happy couple that I've destroyed is my parents. to work it out on my own. I can't do it. Let me see. Okay. What happens if you do this? That makes sense. Thanks. No problem. That's what big brothers are for. I hope you never leave home, Antonio. Don't worry, bro. I'm not going anywhere. You promise? Louise, I'll be here. If you have a problem, you come to me. I'll always be here for you.
please. Why did you do that? That's the candle I light for Antonio every night. Yeah, I know. And I'm sorry. I'm just not as forgiving of Antonio as you are. Especially in times like this, when you need him the most. I wish he were here too, but until he comes home, I will continue to light that candle for him and pray for him. Don't you ever get mad? Antonio took off. He just picked up his stuff and left. And right after Pop disappeared. You could have used his help. You know, we all could have. He just left us, didn't tell us where he was going. I mean, hell, we still don't know where he is. And I'm sorry if that makes me mad that he did that to this family. I don't understand it either. But I believe that Antonio must have had his reasons and someday we'll know why. Hey, what are you thinking about? It's a million miles away. No, oh, I wasn't thinking about anything really. I'm just looking at the stars. You sure? Got awfully quiet after you told me that story that your mother told you as a child. I guess I did. Were you thinking about your mother just now? No, I told you I wasn't thinking about anything. You know, you've never really talked about your family or your childhood. Why not? There's not much to talk about. I wish I knew if I had anyone out there. The memories I have are the man that I loved, and even then I can't remember his name. And what I do remember, I know that he's dead. And I don't even know if there's anyone else out there. Well, Doc said you'll regain your memory eventually. I hope Doc's right. Do you have family somewhere? Yes. Do you ever see them? No, I haven't seen them in a long time. Don't you miss them? I miss them every single day. But I'm sure you must love them. Why did you leave, Brian? Why did you leave your family? You want to tell me what the hell you're doing out here? Mom got away just in time. And if Dad had seen her kissing David, that would have been all my fault. Well, if the spell hit the wrong people, maybe it just won't last too long. At least I know it worked. I have to go to Tabitha's attic again and get that book. I've got to destroy Miguel and Charity. I, uh, just came out to get some fresh air. <clears throat> Is there a problem with that? It's not a very nice Sam. night. Hey, Grace, hey. you are? I've been looking for you. Well, Hank said that you had a kiss for me, and I came to collect. Yeah. Mm. 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 Hi. Hey, honey. Grab a brush. <laughs> well, where are Grace and Sam? Oh, they're outside. You didn't see them when you came in? Oh, no. I parked in the back, came in through the kitchen. Uh. House is looking great, is it? Mm -hmm. Honey, are you all right? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I, I just got back from Polaris. Teresa signed the annulment paper, so her marriage to Julian is over. Great. I'm sure that Teresa and Ethan are happy. Now they can move on with their lives. Yeah. I'm sure Teresa's relieved. She's finally got that creep Julian out of her life for good. What does this mean? This test came out positive, too. You're definitely pregnant. Sweetheart, what, what is it? Oh, TC. Oh, baby. <sighs> Wait a minute. I know what it is. Aren't you excited, Teresa? I mean, we can get married now. There's nothing standing in our way. Ethan, of course, I am excited. I can't wait to be your wife. And we should celebrate. Now, go, go out for dinner or something. 
And every time we've tried to get married, something has happened. But now nothing can stop us, because there are no more secrets. Hey, Chad, you're still gonna be my best man, right? Oh, absolutely, brother man. You just gotta tell me when to show up. <laughs> There's something very huge standing in the way of you marrying Ethan Teresa. Yeah. We, we can't talk about this here. Please, just wait. Is everything okay? <laughs> yes. Everything, Everything is, is fine. fine. Yeah, I just wanted to <laughs> make sure that Whitney would still be my maid of honor. Oh, you will, right? I mean, no big tennis tournament's coming up, I hope. No, I don't have anything coming up this month. Good. I mean, we couldn't get married without you two. It wouldn't be the same. You guys have been with us through everything. <laughs> yes, they have. So, when do you think we should get married? You know, maybe we could talk to Father Lon again and find out when we can have a big church wedding. Father Lon again. Yeah, sure. I mean, you've always said that you want a big church wedding with all our friends and family there. But that will take some time planning. Yeah, all the invitations, the reception, that's gonna take a lot of time to plan. Wait. No, we can't do this. What? What are you talking about? TC, what are you talking about? Sweetheart, I know what it is. This happens every time you're around the Cranes. You walk away unhappy and upset. That's true. I mean, the Crane Mansion is so full of hatred and unhappiness. And it has to affect you. I mean, just being around them. Julian is such a pig. Any decent person will get the creeps just being around him. Oh, sweetheart, no wonder you're so upset. Hey. You're just in time. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> hey, Sammy, why don't you give Hank and I a hand? We need to finish up this trim over here. Come on. All right. Duty calls. Mm. <laughs> Something bothering you? Eve, is everything okay? No, nothing's okay. It's so hard watching a couple who love each other being torn apart by outside forces. You saw me kissing David, didn't you? What? You were kissing David? I, th I thought that's what you were talking about. No, I was talking about another couple, not you and Sam. What's going on between you and David? And what did Sam say? Debbie, look. He's back, and she has the Book of Spells. Yes. Looks as if things are gonna work out tonight, after all. Once Kay is through with them, Charity and Miguel will be history. Oh. Charity? What's wrong? It's here, Miguel. It's in the house. I can feel it. What's here? The evil. Miguel, it's back. And it's gonna destroy us. I feel in my heart that Antonio will come home someday. And I will continue to light that candle and pray for his safe return. It's been too long. If we were coming home, he would have done it a long time ago. No, Luis. You're wrong. Antonio will come home someday, and so will your father. I will never give up believing that God will bring them back home. Why did you leave your family? Why don't you ever see them? It's complicated. It's hard to explain. Do, do you ever call them? No, I haven't had contact with them since I left. Why not? What happened to make you feel so estranged from them? Diana, just take my word for it, okay? It's better this way. If I try to contact them, if I try to show up back home, it's just gonna make things worse. Besides, they've probably forgotten all about me anyway. Oh, I'm sure that's not true. Well, how do you know? You don't know them. Well, no, but... I, mean, I can't imagine any mother or father forgetting their own child. Have you forgotten them? No. Well, then I'm sure they haven't forgotten you. And I'm sure they miss you every day the same way you miss them. 
You know what? I hope they don't. Because they're better off without me. Why would you say something like that? What did you do? I told you, Diana. It's complicated. Things are better off the way they are. I'm not so sure about that. And I bet your mother's heart is breaking over the loss of her son. I have to tell you something. And I was afraid. Afraid that I'd lose you. Lose me? What are you talking about, Teresa? Just tell me. When I married Julian, I, I slept with him. You what? No. I, 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 I was <clears throat> drunk. I thought that I was making love to you. But when I woke up, I, I, I found Julian next to me. Son of a bitch. It's, it's, it's worse than that. I just... I found out that I'm pregnant with this baby. Sorry, it, it was a terrible m mistake. I, I didn't know that I was making love to him. Oh my God. I am so sick of the lies, the deception. Now you swore to me there were no more secrets and you tell me this, the biggest lie of all? Then I love you. I want to be your wife. You think I can marry you now? There, Julian! No, 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 where are you going? Oh, to find you? Julian. I'm gonna make him pay for this. No, please. It's, it's, it's not worth it. I'm gonna kill him for what he's done. Ethan! No! <laughs> Teresa. Teresa, what's wrong? What do you mean we can't do it? You mean get married? No. No, no, of, of course not. I, I was... <laughs> I was just thinking, oh, a big a church wedding and all the preparations, it, it would just, it would take a long time, Ethan, and I want to get married now. Now? Yes. I don't want to wait another day. <laughs> Let's just get married now, Ethan, as soon as possible. You must find forgiveness in your heart. I'm sorry. I don't have it in my heart to forgive Antonio. Look what happened with Teresa, right? I blame him for that. How can you blame him? Because if he had never left, it would have never happened. Things would have been different. The Papa disappeared. He took off without even so much as saying a word. He had such a hard time. Trying to put bread on the table. And Paloma had to go live at Aunt Maria. It's now this whole mess with trees. I don't even know how you did it. I had my faith in God. Well, I don't know how you held on to it. Well, there were times when it... when it was not easy. When I found out that Julian had married our beautiful Teresita, I was furious with God for allowing that to happen. But God did not desert me, Luis. He sent Father Lonigan to me when I was feeling the most despair. God has his reasons, mijo. And we don't always know what they are, but we have to hold on to our faith and believe that God has a plan. And I am trying with all my heart to believe that right now. I'm just so worried about that, Isla. You heard what Ethan said. He said he still loves Teresa and he still wants to marry her. Everything's gonna be fine with them. Sure, son. I don't think so. 
Why don't you just get a good night's sleep, Teresa? Mm. And um, think about making arrangements tomorrow. Yeah. After you've had time to rest. All right. But I am too wound up to just go to bed. Let's go out. Let's do something fun. Okay. Like what? Like ice skating. It'll be the first time for us this winter. Let's do it. I'll get my coat. You know we have to talk, right? Not now, Whitney. You think you can just avoid this? Are you ladies ready? I am ready. Uh -huh. Hey, is everything okay? Yes, everything's fine. Thank you. Okay, if you say so. But it won't be fine for long. You thought you were kissing Sam. Well, of course. But then I heard Sam call my name. And I saw that I was kissing David. I mean, I, I don't understand. What did Sam say? Well, I haven't told him. Why not? Eve, I thought for sure I was kissing Sam. I mean, I would never... I would never kiss David. Look, I know this sounds strange, but I think something made me think that David was Sam. Okay, here goes. I'm gonna give this spell one more try. And this time I'm gonna make sure it hits Charity and Miguel, not my mom. <sighs> Love is patient. Love is kind. My words erase love from their minds. A happy couple they will cease to be. Their hearts all filled with misery. It's here, Miguel. I'm telling you, I can feel it. Evil is here in this house. Charity, this, this house is brand new. How can there be evil in here? I don't know how. I don't know. Okay, um, you stay here and rest, and I will get you something. Some tea, okay? Yeah. I can't just stay here. I have to do something and get help. Mama. Sorry, I blew out Antonio's candle, and then I spoke against him. I understand how you feel, Luis. When Antonio left, he left you the burden of taking care of this family. It never felt like a burden to me. I was happy to take care of us. I know, but you, you sacrificed so much. You postponed living your life, getting married, starting a family. No, I didn't. I never wanted any of those things until I met Sheridan. Uh, I was just waiting for God to send me the right woman. Louise, you loved her so very much. I still do. I still wish she was here. I know, son. I know. I know how difficult this is for you. Look, you may not want to believe this right now, but... You will find love again, Luis. You will. Well, you didn't. And neither will I. That Sheridan's going to be the only woman I'll ever love. Why are you so hard on yourself? What happened to make you think that you had to leave and stay away forever? Whatever it is, I'm sure it's not that bad. I 
see you don't want to talk about it. Diana, I haven't talked to anyone about this in all these years. In fact, I don't know why I'm opening up about it right now. Glad you feel that you can talk to me. I hope you know you always can. It's a great idea, Teresa. Yeah, yeah, tell that to my ankles, man. They need a break. <laughs> yeah, it was a great idea. We were having fun. <sighs> How about you, Whitney? You having fun? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm having a great time. <laughs> Teresa, look at the couple over there teaching their kid how to skate. That's so sweet. You know, that's gonna be us soon, teaching our kid how to skate. I can't wait. But, of course, we're going to have to wait until we get an apartment and a bank account. But, hopefully we won't have to wait too long. I hope so, too. And I want our kids to grow up in a house like yours. You know, a house full of love and happiness. Well, it sounds like you didn't get too much of that in the Crane Mansion, huh? No, it was a, it was a pretty cold house to grow up in. My mother and Sheridan accepted. But you know, I, I'll tell you one thing. When I found out I wasn't Julian Crane's son, it's just, I'm so glad knowing that there won't be a, a drop of Crane blood in any of our children. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, it's really cold. It's really cold. <laughs> Don't want yeah. you catching the cold before we get married. Hey, I'll tell you what, uh, let's go to the courthouse in the morning, pick up a marriage license, and then we can get married tomorrow. I want that more than anything in the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm really freezing, too. Yeah? Well, you know what? Sounds like hot chocolate time. <laughs> cool. Yeah? yeah? All right, we'll get some. We'll be right back. Okay. All right. Thank you. Teresa, have you totally lost your mind? Please don't forget that you're pregnant. You have Julian's baby growing inside you. You can't marry Ethan. <sighs> I hope this worked. I saw Miguel go into the kitchen and Sherry left too. I gotta see what's going on. <laughs> this is it, Timmy. Kay has just cast another spell from the book. This time I have a feeling it's going to work. Kay will finally break up Charity and Miguel. Why did you run away, Grace? If the kiss meant nothing, why didn't you want Sam to see us? I don't know how to explain. You know, if your marriage is as strong and open as you say it is, then you should be able to tell Sam when you're kissing me. You see, it's just, I don't understand myself. I thought I was kissing Sam. Really? Yes, that's the truth. Well, the more reason you shouldn't be afraid of Tom, then. And I am not afraid. Well, go on, then. Tell him. Fine. I will. Father, thank you. Thank you for coming. I came as quickly as I could. You sounded so upset on the phone. What is it, my child? Father, I need you now. There's evil. It's in the house. And I need you to destroy it. Please, right away. I hope this spell worked. Hey. I was hoping I'd find you in here. You were looking for me? Yeah. You were on my mind. <laughs> That's funny. 
You were on my mind too. But then you're you're always on my mind. Really? Yeah. In fact, I uh I want to give you something. What? I don't know if I should. Why not? What is it? I don't know if it's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Dinner is served. Good, because I'm starved. Still thinking about your family? Yeah. I haven't stopped thinking about them since we talked. I don't know why. I do. Oh, yeah? Why is that? Because we're sailing back to Harmony. Yeah. I have a package for uh, Luis Lopez Fitzgerald. That's me. Sign here, please. Thanks. Yeah. Have a nice evening. Yeah, thanks a lot. What is it, Luis? I don't know. Who's it from? Teresa, tell me that you're going to call off the wedding. What if... What if the baby's really Ethan's? But you know it's not Ethan's, Teresa. You were on the pill when you had sex with Ethan. You had absolutely no protection when you slept with Julian. It's Julian's baby. Whitney, you know that, I know that, your mother knows that. But, you know, we're not going to tell, so no one has to know. Oh, my. Teresa, you are not thinking about passing this baby off as Ethan's, are you? 